Uh, the Royals made another appearance at the Euro Cup final between England and Italy with Prince William, Kate and little George cheering on their team. Yeah, let's go now to Nine Honeys Royal commentator Natalie Oliveri. Nat, it was a great start for the Cambridges. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, David and Belinda. That's right, a very good start, but unfortunately not the results that uh, Prince George, William and Kate and really all of England would have liked. Uh, we saw Prince George, there he is, seven years old, cheering <laughs> on with absolute joy. When England uh, scored the first goal and really sort of set the scene for the evening. Many people hoped that they were going to win, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. Uh, but look, Prince William and his son clearly very, very happy to be there in the stands. William and his son wearing matching ties in the colours of the Three Lions team. Also the Duchess of Cambridge wearing a beautiful white blazer and red earrings, also in the colours of the English flag supporting their team. But lots of scenes of delight there. Look how happy George looks. He's an avid uh, football <laughs> fan and he was at the football just last week with his parents so it clearly is something that he loves and he was wearing a lovely little navy suit apparently there was a bit of discussion between William and Kate over whether uh, their son should wear the England jersey now Kate apparently won that argument and her son wore the suit to the oh, game that's a shame. Oh, it's a shame. Yeah, I know. They, they did um, put out a tweet saying congratulations to Italy, but called England's loss heartbreaking. There you oh, go. Poor George. It was really nail-biting, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, you know, he could seem so happy there and he would have left feeling a little I bit... I hope he got something from the merch <laughs> stand on the way out. Hopefully. Mum and Dad, Why not? tap and go, guys. Yeah, it could get the whole yeah. st st stand, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, bite out. Yeah, get it out. Um, meanwhile, we saw it was a big weekend in sport. Um, Kate also made an appearance at Wimbledon over the weekend. She did. Now, Kate has been in isolation for the past week after she came in contact with someone who later tested positive to COVID-19, but she was back out and about this weekend attending the women, uh, the Wimbledon's women's final on Saturday before attending the men's final on Sunday. Now, this uh, green dress we're seeing Kate wear is an Amelia Wicksteed creation that she wore to meet Ash Barty and to present Ash Barty with the winner's trophy. Uh, the next day, Kate was wearing a very different dress, a uh, blush pink gown by a brand called Bula London. Now, we've actually seen that dress before. Crown Princess Mary, uh, Australian-born Princess Mary, wore that dress last June in a slightly lighter colour. So uh, Mary taking fashion advice from Kate, uh, sorry, the other way around, really. <laughs> yeah. the, two, yeah. the two women actually dress quite sim similar, so it's lovely to see uh, the two of them. They look the same, they wear the same clothes. It was really lovely to see Kate out and about, though. And she attended Wimbledon with her dad, too, so it was really nice to see the two of them together, also taking part in a Mexican wave during uh, one of the games on Sunday. I love that, <laughs> keeping it real. I, I also liked yeah. her white heels, stilettos, with the green dress. Yeah, she couldn't wear Jimmy the Dunlop Chupan. volleys, so... <laughs> Could she? <laughs> That would be nice. Kate always looks a picture of elegance and she's patron of the All uh, England Tennis Club. So lovely to see her out and about. After being stuck in quarantine, it was an important event for her to be at. Yeah. So Harry and Meghan have picked up a unique award. What is that? Yeah, this is a little strange, this one. It's by a UK charity called Population Matters. And uh, this charity has awarded Harry and Meghan for what they call an enlightened decision to have just two children. Now, this follows the birth of uh, Lilibet Diana in June. Now, Prince Harry has previously spoken about only wanting two kids. He said this in 2019 during an interview with Vogue magazine with Dr Jane Goodall. Now, it seems they have followed through. Now, this is what the UK charity has said in choosing and publicly declaring their intention to limit their family to two the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are helping to ensure a better future for their children and providing a role model for other families we commend the Duke and Duchess for taking this enlightened decision and for affirming that a smaller family is also a happy family so there you go Harry and Meghan have been given $900 uh, that's their Ooh, cash that's prize gonna help. that's going to help <laughs> yeah and they can do uh, <laughs> they like with that money. Uh, <laughs> hope they don't have another child by I was about you know, that to little, say that one's the surprise. There could be a little surprise. <laughs> or, they have to give the award or back. now that they've had two, they might go, oh, let's have another one. Oh, we'll soon see. All right, Nat, we'll speak to you later. Thanks, Nat. <laughs>